<laughs> yeah, let's bring it back. Yeah, so I'm going to segue into, because Larry, you were talking about like rearranging your priorities and expectations. Yes. And settling is probably not the right word, yeah. but rearranging expectations are one thing. So I want to get into sacrifices that men and women make for love. <laughs> yeah. You know, so it's no secret that relationships require compromise. Yeah. But how do two people get on the same page? when their backgrounds are as different as an espresso and an Americano. So is it about finding a middle ground, like a perfectly balanced coffee with the right amount of cream and sugar? Or does one person inevitably get burned more than the other? Are some sacrifices in love just too much to get one brewed up? What are you guys' thoughts? Are you, are you replacing brewed with booed? Like booed up? Like my up, boo? yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Making sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to understand it. I might, it might be a little too much coffee for me, isn't, but. Yeah, you had some coffee this morning, bro. Yeah. yeah. I'm not finished with it yet. <laughs> I'm just now having mine. All right, so let's talk about you, Rome. Sacrifice. What sacrifice have you had to make in your marriage to make it work? Oh, wow. How long we got? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we got 10 minutes on this one. Um, Mm, you know interesting. What? I actually would love to pass this to Sam. Why y'all keep passing everything to me this morning? Because you got morning? wisdom, son. Yeah. This is a panel discussion. This I know, I know, but it's like... This is not the Sam Thompson show. <laughs> y'all have no, to dive in. Get in there. Uh, you, it's Do the wobble. Oh, you right, got right. caffeine right. right. The reason why I say how it's time, you guys, because we've all had to make sacrifices in all it, our relationships. So, right. So many across the board on both parties, right? With yep. whether it's the, our wives or women that mm -hmm. we're dating. Us, a sacrifice is just a natural part um, I guess relationship. Okay. So it's so not too that, much. I could be, I could be, can try to be concise, but give, give uh, understanding. In my background, in my marriage, um, there's been, we've had to make several sacrifices, mm -hmm. several sacrifices. Um, and I feel there's one that I know my wife is understanding to. Um, I've had two weddings to the same woman because the first one we've had to cancel and postpone day of. We had over two, approximately 200 guests mm -hmm. and we had to postpone the wedding yeah. due to a medical background. Mm -hmm. That's a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. We were ridiculed, yelled at, and there was just no understanding. And those that were what we thought were friends, mm -hmm. literally just Called like literally just through our thought our relationship wasn't worth anything and just like ran it through the dirt. Literally, literally. That's unbelievable. Do, and you know, do, and so you're talking about sacrifices. I had to stand in front of these people, look them in the eye, take this, and then turn around and comfort my fiance. Mm. You talk about sacrifices. Mm. Fast forward. 14 years, this week, I was in the ER because I couldn't breathe. My lungs were at 80, 88 percent and I was a standard to 95. I could not get enough air in my lungs. I was on a respirator. They had me drugged up and I'm fortunate to be here today. My wife had to make sacrifices. So. Mm -hmm. There's a lot that goes into relationships. There's a lot that you have to be willing to lay yourself down for the betterment of the unit because mm. you are one. Mm. It's not yours and mine. It's ours. Mm. Our life, our family, our friends. If y'all get hurt, my wife's praying for y'all because mm. y'all my people. We are you. Mm -hmm. So sacrifices have to be made, especially if you're going to run the marathon of life. It's not a race. It's not a sprint. Mm -hmm. It's a marathon. Mm -hmm. And it's the only one that you get one chance at. You Speak. have to make sacrifices. Speak. Mm -hmm. you, you're spot on, Romolo. You know, the, Larry, the question's a heavy lifting question. Mm -hmm. It's a weighted question because sacrifice is such an important word in any relationship. 
Um, you say, does one outweigh the other? Does one give more than the other? Any healthy relationship is a mutual sacrifice. It may not be 50-50 every day, but you are going to check in and see who's going to carry the weight for the day mm, or the yeah. week or the month or the year, whatever's going mm -hmm. on. Sometimes you're pulling, sometimes you're pushing, sometimes you're both lifting together. I like to use a weight weightlifting analogy where you have your spotter and then making sure you can handle the weight together, even though you may be the one lifting the weight. Right. You need someone to back you on that bench because sometimes it does get heavy. But any role for the man in any relationship, and I'll say this real quick, we're in a sacrificial position. And a lot of times relationships are, the roles are twisted or reversed. Mm. It's the wife or the spouse doing all the heavy lifting in the house and all these things with the kids. The man is actually supposed to be the one loving the wife and sacrificing for the better, betterment of everybody. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times we're sitting back getting catered to. Yeah. And that's not our role. Our role is to actually cater to our families. And we're supposed to be the leaders of the word. We're supposed to be ministering to our first ministry, which is our family. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to be cheering our children on. We're supposed to be loving our wives. It's, it's a lot of times we're just receiving sometimes and acting like we deserve it. Mm -hmm. But when we're really sacrificing the way God ordained our marriages and our relationships, you'll see men are actually active in every role of that house, not leaving the, the discipline to our, our wives, not leaving this to our, our spouses. It's really supposed to come from us. And that is a hard position to be in when you're leading community, you're leading your house, you're leading your church, you're leading your job, you're leading, leading, leading. You're always feel like sometimes you're on an island in leadership because mm -hmm. that's part of sacrificing <clears throat> for everyone else to get the win and maybe you dying on a sword for them to win. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a way to question, man. We don't have enough time to <laughs> circle to all the moon and the stars on that. But sacrifice mm -hmm. is the word of the day when it comes to relationship. Without it, there is no relationship. Yeah, I and agree. Yeah, I agree. Uh, there's different kind of sacrifices, and sacrifices change as your marriage evolves. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's just it's just amazing. I look at my marriage. I, I think I've been here out of the group here. I've been married the longest. Uh, 26 years and we've made so many, I mean, you know, I, you know, every now and then we're doing pretty decently. We start our own business. We're doing pretty well financially, but I, I always look back at them days with my wife and I say, you know, there was a time, I kid you not, where we didn't know where our next meal was coming from. We had two freezer burned tamales in the freezer, <laughs> kid you not. Mm -hmm. And we were just like, holy smokes, what are we going to do? We both started jobs and everything. And then we got changed together. We and McDonald's just happened to have back in the day. McDonald's had those specials, uh, two bet two Big Macs for five dollars, and we got our change together and got twenty dollars, and we made it through the week until we got our first paycheck for our new jobs and everything. But sacrifice is is just uh, it's it's a requirement of any any kind of marriage, any kind of relationship. But you'd be amazed at this kind of sacrifice that one may have to make. Mm -hmm. Both my wife and myself, we made sacrifices to be together that we had to excommunicate. Our family, mm -hmm. wow. as communicate our family, and those of you who are, you know a little bit, a little bit uh, older, you remember back in the day as a, as a youngster when I was growing up, love the Flintstones, love the Flintstones, <laughs> love <laughs> Fred Flintstone, yeah. 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 And yeah. Fred Flintstone, you ever remember back in the day and his mother in law, and Fred Flintstone, his mother in law used to always go at it, and I used to, I, I, I didn't understand that as a youngster. I'm like, why do they, why don't they get along? They're supposed to love each other. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to. Be a family. I understood when I got married. <laughs> Let me tell you, when you when they say you when you get married, you marry your wife's or your spouse's family. Mm -hmm. True. Do. No, you don't though. Because mm -hmm. you can cut them off too. And to unfortunately, we had to cut both our families off. My mother was horrible towards my wife for no reason. Mm -hmm. Horrible. And my wife's parents were absolutely horrible towards me. But we made the sacrifice for us to be together. We knew that our marriage was solid and we weren't going to let anything stand in the way of us remaining together, even if it's our blood family and our relatives. And so because of the horrible things that they did, we cut them both off, mm. both that, sides. And that, that sacrifice, that's the sacrifice, the unity yes. of oneness together. Absolutely. That strength. Yes. Like when you were, and we all encountered it one way or another, your backs against the wall. We've heard all those stories and stuff like that, but it's always said, it's like, 
and we all come from that, you know, backgrounds. Like mm -hmm. When you two are always stronger than one, mm -hmm. and when you have a unity yep. of, of cohesion and thought, mind, soul, you know, and, and and physical as well, you know, from a marriage standpoint, right. you know, or couple standpoint, mm -hmm. like you can accomplish and, and weather anything when yes. you're willing to sacrifice together. That's mm -hmm. right. But it, it is this oneness of yeah, peace, love, and freedom in, in knowing each other. Mm -hmm. Right. And be able to, to lay down our weaknesses to grow. And I think that's the beauty of what yeah. he would. The price of love and vulnerability. That's the price of love. So mm -hmm. what Sam gave, I think, a great analogy. I said, spotter, my wife, mm -hmm. Michelle, is my spotter. She's got my back. She's got the weight belt around her. Mm -hmm. She's got the gloves on and she's ready to hold yeah. that one. Hey, she's ready I, to do it. You know, <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know if you're being literal or not. Michelle's still <laughs> still <on. laughs> I can literally see her with the gloves on and her belt. You don't play with Michelle. Yeah. She's nice. Yeah. But and she's knows. loving. But she whooped your ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I love Michelle. So Michelle, I'm gonna say I'm gonna let nobody mess with our business, with our stuff. Michelle Michelle's not gonna have it. And so yeah. that's that's where it is. So we've had to be so dependent on each other. Because others keeping it real, even though I love y'all and everything like that, in the end, that's how we we grew up together. Mm -hmm. That's how we've always had just each other. That's it. Mm -hmm. We only had each other, so I could always depend on her. She could depend on I'll make whatever sacrifices that she needs me to make. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, it has strengthened our union. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, Rome, what you said was right on the money. It's strengthened our union. I know in the end, anything were to happen, she's going to be provided for. She'll be taken care of, anything like that, because I've made sure that this is my love, my partner, and I do, I do anything for her. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I think sacrifices probably the most important action yeah. in any relationship or marriage. I think some of the problems that people are having today is that they don't want to sacrifice, right? They're selfish. They don't understand. They're thinking about self. Yeah. What have you done for me lately? And what can you do for me tomorrow? And what can you do? But instead of thinking of the opposites, what can, what can I, I do, do for right? you? Because <laughs> when you're in a relationship, you're actually there to serve, yep. mm -hmm. right? So how can I serve you today? And then, gotcha. And then uh, if she's also thinking, how can I serve you? then we're thinking about how can we serve each other right. every day. And sometimes that comes with sacrifice where I'm not in the mood to rub your back, but I know your back hurt, <laughs> so I'm gonna rub it anyway. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. And, and vice versa, so. Okay, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a little end cinnamon it, to this coffee. This. You got a two minute. Yeah, yeah, end it with this, go Okay, okay. And sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, you are poured out with some of the best blessings in those sacrifices when you don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. There have been times Absolutely. when I've been recently, my wife was like, I want to go do this. And I'm just like, I have no desire. I came real. My, my boy Orlando was talking about speaking truths, even mm -hmm. if it hurts. And I'm like, you don't understand. That's just a tight And So that's another topic. But the point being is I spoke truths and I was like, I have no desire to go to this event. I don't want to go, but because I love you, I will take you in support of you. I went to this event and I kid you not, we shut the place down. <laughs> it was such a blast. I got to meet and mix it up with some amazing people and got so much wisdom. And I walked out of there happier than my wife. <laughs> I was like, oh, let's do this again. Oh, I'm gonna yeah. hit him up. Oh, I mean, she's like, what's so funny? I was like, oh, we touched it. Blew my mind. And I was so reluctant at first. But in the willingness of sacrificing, because I knew I loved her more, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll endure it. And I felt like I came out like, I was just like, wow. So sometimes even in those sacrifices, yeah. blessings can be poured upon you yeah. that are unexpected. I want to add, because I remember episode one, mm -hmm. when Rome, you said in the clip, I'm selfish and I'm working on it. And the context of it was uh, not taking interest in your wife. Right. <laughs> I so I, yeah, I remember right, that. Right, so right, right. that's growth right yeah, there, yeah, my yeah. man. And then yeah. Atlanta was like, you ain't taking interest in your wife's affairs. Wouldn't that be a concern? <laughs> and then you're like, I'm selfish and I know what I'm working on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know we need to move on. I, I know. I, I want to just add uh, one thing because one thing that Rome was uh, saying a minute ago, it's kind of how he said it more so than what he said. But when we're making sacrifices, it's important to not let that let your spouse know your girl know that you're doing not to sound resentful 
Yeah. So in other words, like I'm gonna do this, I'm doing it for you, and you do like making it. Because you when you said it, I was like, I was gonna say, I want you to do because you want to do it. Yeah, not because because then it makes the other person go, well, fuck it then. We don't gotta do it. Be gradually doing it. Be gradually doing it. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna say whatever. I want you to want to do dishes. I, I, I just got the honor. For, I want you to do dishes. Get down. <laughs> Get down to me. Uh. Go that's to the chopper. We, that's why we have a dishwasher. Uh, why do I sound like a French Schwarzenegger right there? <laughs> but anyway. Just... Speaking of-